Hey guys, Mike from We Watched a Movie here again, doing a lot of movie reviews today. That's why I'm still wearing this shirt. It is the same day. It's the same day. I'm not a filthy animal. I mean, it would fit. It is a Rob Zombie movie. Let's just be honest. Part of the part of the roll call, much like Michael Bay, it's like, can you run and do you have a flat stomach to the girls? Uh, Rob Zombie would be, do you curse and do you have a beard? We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. Today we have The Lords of Salem. I know it's a late review, but I saw it, and you don't just watch something like this and then not say something about it. Rob Zombie directs and writes this movie. And just full frontal, right now, I'm just gonna, let's just get my feelings about Rob Zombie out of the way so you know how I went into this and who I am as a Rob Zombie fan going into this movie. Um, House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, not my cup of horror tea. I think I, horror on its own is like kind of sick and twisting its way because you're watching it to see people die and cool deaths and stuff like that. But the way Rob Zombie does it, he just makes you feel like shit for those people. And I don't want him to do that. Like, they might not even be good characters, but there's just, there's something just like, I don't know, it's like, I wish I could explain it. Maybe, I, maybe I'm wrong in this, but in those movies, it's just, it just goes too far. I, I can take any kind of gore you throw at me. Matter of fact, I like gore. I want more of it, all the time. Even in horror and in killing and in murders, there's like a tastefulness that is still there. I mean, there's a, there's some sort of tact still there in the way you do things, and I just feel like, Rob Zombie, it feels like he's trying too hard to come across that way. And it just, it, to me, all the taste in horror goes out the window. And if all horror movies were like that, I mean, I wouldn't be a fan of horror like I am. But I don't hate Rob Zombie because, for one, Halloween is my favorite horror series of all time, and I thought he made a decent remake of it. I had my issues with it. I don't know why you needed, Michael Myers needed a story. Like, I mean, come on, that's what made him so scary in the first place. He's the shape, not the kid whose dad was mean to him. Halloween was still a good movie. I think his movies look amazing. I think he would be an amazing, like one of the best in the business at cinematography, at soundtrack, at a lot of things he'd be amazing at. He's a super talented guy. It's just I think that he gets in his own way. I think he needs to get out of his own head or someone needs to be there to be like, don't, don't, you, don't do that. That's a bad idea. That's just why. Then you've got H2, which that would be probably the first movie I would ever send a movie hell if I could someone. If I could just burn one and have it so that it never existed, H2 would be that movie. I mean, Michael Myers talks and he's just a bearded dude living in the woods. Okay, man. Cool. Well, let's go into this with an open mind, Lords of Salem. It's not apparently a typical Rob Zombie movie is what people are saying. It's, it's a little bit different. But he uses his wife again. And I'm not all that sold on her being a great actress. Maybe it's because of my love for Halloween and how her and him shat on it with the whole white pony thing, like Michael kill for your mom thing. This is not a Halloween review. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still upset. I'm holding on to some things. From the get-go, you know, we've got butt cheeks. She's half naked walking around. A lot of times it just seems like Rob Zombie's just being like, look at my hot wife. Look at my hot wife. Hey, look at my hot wife. Like, dude, it's cool. You got a hot wife. Awesome, man. And what it is, is she works at a radio station with a couple other uh, Rob Zombie usuals. You got Ken Ferre, uh, the other dude, I can't remember his name, but he's the dude that looks like Dave Grohl, and he was like the, the strip club flunky in, uh, in H2. So they work at this radio station, and this record comes in from this band called the Lords of Salem. And they play it, and it's got this creepy, like, Oh, and the music's awesome. It's really disturbing. Good job, Rob, on that one. But she starts to freak out. It makes people freak out and lose their stuff. And, and then it goes back into this story about these witches. Everything kind of unfolds from there. Every time this record's played, people start to go crazy. You've got this whole subplot about these witches are coming back. Creepy, like, in the woods, naked, like, going nuts. Rubbing blood all over themselves, spitting on babies. Like, this, like that, that's what I'm talking about right there. The naked witches in the woods, cool. It's kind of creepy or whatever. Uh, the whole witchcraft thing. But then you've got her spitting on a baby. And you, you just always got to take it the next day. Why do you got to spit on the baby, Rob? Why does she got to spit on it? It's, it doesn't add to it to me. It's just gross. But anyways, this movie, uh, I got to give him a little bit of credit. As I watched the movie, I was interested in it. Uh, I don't think Sherry Moon Zombie did that bad of a job. But let me just say this. Rob Zombie, excellent visuals, man. The visuals in this were awesome. There's some, like, just, you could tell, they're non-CGI'd, freaky-ass effects of, like, the, the images that she's seeing. 
and it looks awesome and it's freaky as hell and when they pop up you're like oh hot damn that was scary it, and it's it's freaky there's a scene with the pastor where she goes into a church that that one got me pretty good there's some like literally you're sitting in your seat and like oh that looks cool oh no oh no that looks really cool Ew. And I've got to give it credit for the visuals all the way through. But here's the main problem, and this is typically the problem with movies like H2 and like Lords of Salem. What do those images mean? Can you, can you put something behind the flare? Can you put a little bit of story back there? Because I get that she's seeing stuff, but every time it comes to explaining it, it's, oh, it was a dream sequence. Just like in H2. Like, you can't keep copping out on the dream sequence or, oh, she sees visuals so I can just make up whatever I want. It seems like he doesn't want to take the time to explain his own genius. Like, if you could figure out how to explain it, you'd actually make it scary and not just good to look at. And then the end of the movie comes along, and I'll just say the end of the movie is a total cop-out. It completely craps on the rest of the movie, and it's just a bunch of random images that make no sense to me. And if you can figure it out, good for you. I don't even have the time to. I'm just done with it. And that's how I usually end up with Rob Zombie, and it's upsetting. Dude's got a lot of talent, and he just craps on himself. Just get out of your own mind, man, because the end of this movie is just, they don't explain anything. They don't wrap anything up. They don't actually tell a coherent story. They just throw a bunch of random shit on the screen and then end it. And that is just a complete waste of my time, waste of my ticket money, waste of everyone's ticket money. You need to sit down and, and actually process and put things together instead of just trying so hard. Maybe just tell a coherent story. It would be amazing. But my review of this movie, guys, I'm going to give it a 5.5. Um, like I said, there's a lot of stuff I really did like in this movie, but ultimately, you got to actually be saying something. you got to be telling some sort of a story. You can't just show a shit and then be like, oh, well, artsy, 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 razzle-dazzle, razzle-dazzle, freakiness in the movie. Sorry, Rob. Didn't do it for me on this one. Good job making the first Halloween, though. And um, my question of the day is, what, what, what is your guys' take on Rob Zombie? If you had to pick a favorite and the least favorite Rob Zombie film, what would it be? And what's the creepiest witchcraft story you've ever watched. Till next time guys, I'm Mike from We Watched a Movie and we'll see you next time. We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie.